Are you here looking for love? Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alicia. If you are new to my channel, um, thank you for coming. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, let me just take a moment of silence so you can press that button. Thank you. If you are not new to my channel, thank you for coming back. So today I did this holiday look. Um, it's like a pinky cranberry halo look and guess what you guys i did not use any eyeliner no wing eyeliner today and that is a big ass deal for me so um i don't think i've never not put liner on in any one of my videos correct me if i'm wrong but i'm pretty sure i've never not worn eyeliner and so today is a first yay for me change is good anyway if you want to see how i got this look please continue to watch if you like the video make sure you give it a thumbs up and press that bell so you can get updates on all the videos that i upload so you don't have to miss any ever all right let's go ahead and get started bye so i'm starting out with real gar and i'm just putting this in my crease using a blending brush and this is just going to be the only transition color I use. And I am just making sure I put enough in there to, you know, your own liking, however much you want to pop out. Now I'm going in on the outside corners with red ochre. And I'm just going to put this on the outsides of my eyes and then also in the inside of my eyes because we're going for the halo sandwich look whatever you want to call it um and then once i put the red ochre in there i am going to brighten it up a little bit more with venetian red i'm just going to work that in there and um, connect it at the top but um, I really want this look to be really bright and more on the cranberry side. So I'm going to put a little bit more of the Venetian red on there than the red ochre. So just take your time and I'm using a flat brush for this. But you can use whatever brush you're more comfortable with. Um, it all just depends on your eye shape and whatever you're comfortable with. And now I'm just taking my blending brush and just blending that all out and making it look real good. And pretty much I just go back and forth um, working those colors in, just trying to get it as close to what I'm looking for as possible, which is the cranberry look. So this is me going in with some more of the Venetian red and just working that in all throughout my eyes. And then once um, once I have all the red in there, I'm just going to um, dip into Cypress Umber and I'm just gonna deepen up the eye look just a little bit. And I'm just putting those on the furthest, like in the furthest corners of my eyes. So on the far outside corner and the far inside corner and then um, just blend it out and make sure everything is really seamless you really want this eye look to come together really nicely so now I'm just taking um, Primavera and I'm putting that right on the center and this is just going to brighten up the look and this color is one of my favorite shades out of the Anastasia modern Renaissance palette I can't get enough of this palette honestly but yes, I'm just putting a really nice coat of that in the center, and then I'm going to blend that out, and then um, I'm actually not going to be putting any eyeliner on today. So once I'm done cleaning this all up and blending it out, I'm just going to throw some lashes on. So just make sure everything is blended out really well and everything is to your liking, and then just slap those lashes on. So for my primer, I'm going to be using my NYX Born to Glow Liquid Luminator. And I'm just going to put that all over my face just because I want to look glowy for the holidays, you know. 
we really want to look glowy all the time, you know, like we woke up glowing and shit. But yeah, I'm just going to work that in. And then I'm just using my, what was it? My Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless Foundation. And I'm just using my blue beauty, but, 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 oh my gosh, I'm using my beauty blender to blend all of that in. So for concealer today, I'm using my Kat Von D Locket, and I'm just dotting some, putting some dots on there because I'm also going to be mixing it with my Shape Tape, and this one is just a little bit more full coverage, but I like to mix them together. I like the combination a lot, but yes, I'm just going to take my beauty sponge and blend, blend all of that out. I swear I cannot say these B words today. I don't know what is going on. But anyway, blend all of that out. Take your time. If you're not blending, you're not doing it right, okay? So take your time. Blend all of that out. Once I'm done blending all of that in, I thought I needed to brighten it up a little bit more. So I just went in with some more of my shape tape and just put a little bit more underneath my eyes just to brighten up my under eye a little bit more. Now to set my concealer, I'm using my Laura Mercier translucent powder and I'm just pushing that in with my beauty sponge. I'm not baking whatsoever, but once that's all done, I'm just going to be using my Laura Mercier um, foundation smoothing powder. Um, Yes, smoothing finish foundation powder. And I'm just gonna set all that foundation all over my face. And then I am using my um, Black Radiant Contour Kit today to contour. And I'm just gonna carve out those cheekbones, you know. And for blush, I'm using my Raisin, of course. And I'm just pushing that up into my contour as usual. Mm -hmm. For highlight, I'm using my Laura Geller. If you guys haven't, if you guys haven't tried this Gilded Honey, like I don't know what's going on exactly, but you definitely need to pick that up. Definitely one of my favorites for sure. And now I'm just going back to my eyes I'm just putting um, Venetian red and uh, Primavera under, underneath my eyes right where um, where it is on the top so it like kind of mirrors each other so Primavera in the center red ochre on the outsides of my eyes and once I have all that done, I put some mascara on just to top it off. Make sure you put a grip on. And now I'm setting my face with my Fix Plus per usual. Now for lips, I'm taking my uh, Mahogany MAC Lip Pencil and I'm just lining my lips with this. Then I filled in my lips with my Maybelline Nude Embrace and then a little bit of NYX Cocoa Bean. And then right on top of that, I just put some ColourPop Nude Lip Gloss on top. And that completes my look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel as always and thumbs up this video if you liked it. Until the next time, bye!